Let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have a function and we have to find its residue at z is equal to 1. So let us write the given function first, which we have already done. So this function is not analytic or you can say the singular points of this function is z is equal to 3 and z is equal to 1. Since at these two points, denominator of function will be 0. But see, we have to find residue only at z is equal to 1. So that means we have to focus only on point z is equal to 1. So z is equal to 1 is basically pole of order 2 since this bracket has power 2. Let me write that thing. Here, z is equal to 1 is a pole of order 2. So we have three different methods to find residue. First is a definition, that means with the help of Lorentz series, we can find residue. Second, if we have a pole of order 1, then we have a first formula. And if we, if we have a pole of order m, we have a second formula. So here, order is 2, so that means I should go for the second formula. Let's, let us use it. So residue of f of z at z is equal to 1, I am finding. So this is equal to 1 upon n minus 1 factorial 2 minus 1 that means I should write 1 factorial limit z tends to 1 we have to take derivative okay of order m minus 1 m is 2 2 minus 1 is 1 so first order derivative that bracket z minus 1 square we should write f of z let us simplify it further 1 upon 1 factorial is 1 limit z tends to 1 derivative of z minus 1 square let us put the value of f of z which is 1 upon z minus 1 square z minus 3 so what will happen this z minus 1 square and z minus 1 square will get cancelled to each other so this is equal to let me write this is equal to limit z tends to 1 right we have to take derivative of what is remaining in the bracket only 1 upon z minus 3 so we know that derivative of 1 by z is minus 1 upon z square. Let us use the formula. So this is equal to limit z tends to 1 minus 1 upon z minus 3 square. Getting and again derivative of this bracket. But fortunately derivative of this bracket is 1 only. So I will skip that step. So this is equal to naima applying the limit. That means simply I will put z is equal to 1 there. So minus 1 upon 1 minus 3 minus 2 square. So minus 1 by 4, this is required residue. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.